Coach Meek, Ohio County Physical Court, to order on this uh, 27th day of July, 2021, at 5 p.m. I'm going to ask Ann Melton to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this day you've given us. And watch over our country as well as the world as we seem to be going through another COVID crisis. And help everyone to stay calm. Watch over these elected officials uh, that are working hard to take care of our county. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, gentlemen, before you, you have the minutes of the July 13th meeting, we need a motion to approve. I make a motion. Motion for Sam Jamal, second to Jason Bullock. Is there any discussion, questions, or, or additions? Is that mine again? Questions, corrections, or additions? Yeah. I'll just do it. Just leave it off. Uh, being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Before you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, is there a light list in there? No. With no light list. I'll make a motion. Second. I have a motion to Sam Small, second by Joe Barnes. Uh, is there any questions on the bills, claims, payments, and transfers? I'm discussion, actually. Discussion on the uh, bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Being none, I'll very say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign, the bills are paid. The annual treasure settlement, of course that's subject to audit. So Make a motion, do we just need to approve, I mean, that we acknowledge, we acknowledge. A motion by Jason Bullock, second by Larry Camp. Is there any discussion or questions for our treasure? Being none, all in favor say aye. Uh, Post like sign. The motion carries. The annual review of it presented by the treasurer. I make a motion to acknowledge. A motion by Sam Small. Second. Second with Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion or questions for Ann on that? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Post like sign. Motion carries. Uh, item number six. Uh, some of you uh, don't know about this and some may not. But anyway, uh, we have a limit on what our uh, leadership team can pay when they're working inmates on the job. Uh, and we need, uh, because of inflation, we're needing to raise that to $10. You know, $10. So moved. Motion by Ray Second. Second with Joe Bond. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Be none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, opposed like sign. Motion carries. Oh, we'll get some more minutes. Uh-oh. I hope that's a misprint. Brandon. Yeah, it is. Do we need approval again? No. Uh -huh. Okay, we did a, a, a budget amendment at the last meeting, 2022-1. Uh, we need to do a second a reading on that budget amendment. I make a motion. Motion for Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Camp. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Everybody voted for it. Uh, Miranda, I know you got to put that down like it was a we call, but can, everybody said yes. Yeah, can, this is probably you wanna, should have been Can you roll call it? Yeah, it should be a roll call on the county ordinance. We had the papers in here, too. We yeah. signed it, so technically we did. No, I need it for a second. I need the second. Every time we do a reading, I need roll call if we can. No, uh, we're talking about working something else. Something not here. Here. Yeah. Okay. No, we got that. <laughs> we're, 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 we'll do the, the roll call on this second reading. Yeah, the roll call is out here, so we probably need a roll call. Okay, go ahead and do the roll call. Bullock? <coughs> yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Small? Yes. Uh, 
But you got the sign, you got the signatures and everything. But officially, I guess, uh, just say a couple words for just to satisfy this public hearing. So we're listening to you. All right. And we'll have ordinances, I mean, uh, resolutions pertaining to what he's telling you about here. They're inside your folder, aren't they? So the purpose of this hearing is to provide information to the public uh, concerning the proposed Ohio County Water District intake line, rebuild uh, community development block grant project, and to obtain a views on housing and community development needs. This required public hearing also serves to inform low and moderate income persons that there is technical assistance available through the Green River Area Development District in developing grant proposals for the CDBG program. There are essentially four main types of CDBG projects, public facilities, economic development, housing, and community facilities. For Kentucky in 2021, uh, the total available funds are $25,618,000 and $8,292,000 of that amount is set aside for public facilities projects under which this water line uh, falls. So this project entails rebuilding the current 450 linear foot ductile iron intake line at River Road in Cromwell. The current line is failing and physically falling apart. It includes the construction of two new submerged intake screening structures, installation of a 20 inch ball joint supply lines, uh, construction of an elevated valve access platform, uh, assembly of the two intake screenings on the Green River, construction of a micro pile foundation for the intake screening assemblies, connection to the existing supply line and erosion control and bank stabilization. The estimated construction cost is $2.2 million. The county is applying for $1 million through the CDBG program with the remaining balance provided through a KIA state revolving loan fund at 1% interest for 30 years. Uh, and then some costs borne by the Ohio County Water District. The CDBG funds are available through the Housing and Urban Development uh, Administration, the federal program. And the Uniform Displacement Act does apply to this project. The county does not anticipate any resident being displaced due to the activities of this project. <coughs> uh, for a copy of that Uniform Displacement Act, an individual can contact the Green River Area Development District or the Department for Local Government. And then last, or to entertain any comments or questions from the audience. Thank you. I have a question. The one percent. Now, who's responsible for the one percent? The one, the one million and one percent yeah. through the other. The one million. Uh, the it's the revolving loan fund. I'll let Eric speak to how the you're handling the financing. So that's who you guys did. No, the water district. The water district pays. Okay. We pay over the one million. Yes. Correct. Yes. Over the one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of proud of that project. It's very important to the county to ensure that we continue to get uh, water. And, uh, and with the uh, Rochester Dam, the new dam will be completed before this year is out. Uh, that's going to, and, and with it and this intake, we're, our water system is going to be in good shape for many years. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, when this came to our county to look at through grad, uh, What's, what's the name of the points I was able to give the project to elevate it? Uh, the, uh, oh my gosh, uh, the boost. Uh, the boost. The boost. Yeah, yes. I gave that project a boost with what I had to assure that it made top of our list for the county. Yeah, it's, it's vital to our system. Yes. Uh, it's our main source of water in the Green right. River. Right. 2019, um, we had an inspection done by our diving team not our team, but contractor, and they, they found a separation in a pipe and they were finding large rocks in our wet well. So it could be a catastrophic failure. Um, if that pipe pulls apart, we would have to mobilize pumps um, and, and a monthly fee would be around $30,000 to mobilize those pumps in to do bypass pumping. So this is what our community, uh, almost 20,000 people population, they're served by the green water, green yeah. river. Yeah, it's this very important to the county. We've known that uh, for uh, a while. 
Or yeah. just the first time we counted? Yeah, so, so the one million is going to come from CBT and then yeah. one million, plus one million for the bay. Yeah, we'll be paying the, the 1.2 over the 1 billion yeah. for uh, SRF. Okay. okay. So, but this grant's going to make a difference in the Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And, well, and I did provide a sheet. It's a two page sheet for you all. Yeah. It's, yeah. We, 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 uh, we'll be voting some some resolutions here in a little bit to pertain to uh, Yeah, we just, we didn't have to do a formal. Public hearing, like we normally do. We just did it. Okay. Not about that one. Well, I seen it. I skipped. Yeah, thanks for showing me. I skipped okay. it from the beginning. We got carried away here. Uh, but if, uh, Eric, uh, glad to ha that you're here to die in person. If you remember attending one of our Zoom meetings and we introduced him then. Absolutely. Yeah, we're working Zoom. It's nice to meet you. Right. That here he is in person. He actually, he actually. Uh, looks so much younger in person, I almost didn't know who he was. I shake my beard. Okay, <laughs> that helps. That makes a difference. Does it all steps on it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, thank you. Thank um, you all. Sorry about that, Eric. Just a little humor there. <laughs> um, I'm not even sure I wish your rep was here, but we've got to do, a, uh, do something with uh, the Ojai County Detention Center. FY 2021 commissary camp. He's turned his uh, book over to me for the auditors. Okay. But it has to be recorded. It's just recorded that he did so. Yeah. We'll have so just acknowledge he did that again like we would yeah. here. Yeah, you just acknowledged it's turned over. Okay. I'll make the acknowledgement. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Joe Bond. Is there any discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed aye. like sound, motion carries. <laughs> the 2020 UMC settlement. That's the sheriff. Sheriff, sure. we have a, you got anything to say about that or just present it? What was that on? The first one, the UMC settlement. Okay. No, uh, oh. I think it, that's Okay. All the attachments are in here. There's just so many that I didn't want to overwhelm you guys. Just so if you just want to take a look, that's all five of the attachments that are going to be the next five motions. And all that, all that really does is again, it's the same as God. It's the same acknowledgement. Yeah. That's your unmined coal camp. Yeah. Unmined yeah. Yeah. And then it goes on down. Property yeah. tax. The whole. Do each one of them individually. Yes, please. No, individually. We got the next uh, several. Thanks here, Sam. So I'll make a I'll motion to acknowledge the UMC settlement. I'll second, Sam. A motion by Sam Kamal, second by Jason Bullock. Uh, to accept it, I mean, to uh, acknowledge we got it. Uh, any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like Sam. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to accept the uh, tax settlement, property tax settlement. Second. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second to Sam Small. Any discussion on that one? Uh, I will just ask the sheriff if it was up or down. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't see it. That's all right. Okay. Just that. Which knowledge we got then. Uh, well, our property tax was actually up. The tangible was actually down a so little. So kind of. Some of a yin and yang. Yeah. I'll say, we, ah. we fared overall on our collection. Percentages were higher. Better than I expected. But yeah. 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 All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that. Motion carries. Okay. I make a motion to acknowledge the oil and LSG settlement. Second. Second to Larry Cam. Motion to Sam Small. Second to Larry Cam. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like Sam, most carried. Uh, right on that line, the 2020 franchise settlement. Make a motion to acknowledge the franchise settlement. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 
Opposed uh, like sign. Motions to carry. Uh, the uh, second quarter B. Motion to Sam Kamal. Second. Joe Bonds. Second with Joe Bonds. <coughs> Any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. aye. Opposed like sign. Motion to carry. Judge, the clerk also had the unmined coal settlement for 2020, and it's the exact same as the share, but they both have to acknowledge having it. Um, each of you have a copy of it in your folder. It should be um, third page. I would so move to acknowledge. I'll, I'll second. second. This is the county clerk. Yes. Yeah. Motion by Blair Cam. Second by uh, Jason Bull. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like that, opposed to carry. Okay. We're coming into a whole bunch of resolutions now. And the first one, I'm not even sure what it is. I don't know. The 20. It's what you just did the public hearing on. Am I correct? Then, no, that's the, the water next. intake line. The in. The inundation mapping. Oh, sorry. Part of that. The mapping. That is for Charlie. That's FEMA. Yeah, that's FEMA to do with You the have FEMA. a copy in your folder. The, all the famous stuff that he has uh, requested. He's working, trying to get his money. Trying to get money back. Yes. Should be paid so, for. Yeah. Motion by Larry Kane. Second. Second by Sam Kamal. Any discussion on that? Being none, all favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the uh, resolution 2022-2 the OCED intake rebuild project CDBG. That's my motion. I'll second his motion. Okay. Uh, motion by Sam Small, second by Jason Bullock to approve the um, uh, CDBG for the intake rebuild project for our water uh, district. Is there any discussion? Let's go ahead and roll call that. That's a big deal. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cal? Yes. Small? Yes. Uh, the next three have to do with the second part of the public hearing we just did, but this is the utility assistance CBG grant. Hold well, on. The first one is the water intake rebuild project. We did that. We just did that. Okay, sorry. Yes. Next. We already done that. Flipping. I'll make a motion for the utility assist one or the 20. 22 3-3. Three three. Uh, okay. Assist one. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Count. Is there any discussion? This is the resolution. Uh, we don't have to roll call resolution, I don't think. So all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carry. I make the motion to accept the 2022-4 CDBT utility assist number two. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Camp. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Who's gonna do number three? I'll do uh it's Resolution 2022-5, CDBG, Utility Assist 3. Yeah, fair hassle. Yeah, Jason Bull. Second. I'll second. Second by Joe Barnes. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. I'll make a motion to accept the 2022-6, CDBG, Utility Assist number 4. Okay. Uh, have a motion by Sam Small, second by Larry Camp to do the 2022-6 resolution. Uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carried. What's this last one, Miranda? We've done all these. Uh, hazard mitigation for grad. It's the hazard, hazard mitigation plan. Plant. We just did that. I'm talking about the utility assistant related. No, we haven't done hazard. No, you haven't done the hazard. Hazard mitigation plan yeah. 22 7. I make a motion. Okay. It's right here. 
And it's basically saying, hang on, this one. Okay, okay. I had the uh, I had another chart. Uh, Let's see. Okay. I'll second. Second. I have a motion to Sam Small, second by Larry Cam. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like time. Motion carries. Um, the utility assistant relief is what I was asking you about. Uh, there's a lot of extra documentation that goes with it, and instead of asking for permission on each one, if we can get approval by the court to authorize you to sign all corresponding documents that go with that. That has to do with it all three resolutions. It attaches to all four of those resolutions that you just did. No, I think Motion by Larry Kennedy. Second by Joe Bond. I think that one's the 200000 that Ogden's going to yes. administer. Yes. It is. Yeah. That's allowed me to sign the paper. Can I make a motion? I apologize. Larry Cameron. Larry Cameron. Yeah, second. Second Joe Bond. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Motion carries. Um, and. Uh, you're the only one on the uh, committee from yesterday that we met on the coronavirus. I really wanted this to go to committee first, but we're kind of wanting to move on it. Uh, with the Delta variant of the coronavirus, uh, the, the uh, group presented me a proposal yesterday that I agreed with. It, it was sent to all the committee members and they each responded and both okay. of the magistrates have copies. Okay, okay. What, what is this then? The, the, the nuts and bolts of it is oh, that protocol, the, the protocol for people now if they get this Delta variant, variant or they come down with COVID. And so you will not know. It requires proof that they have it, positive test. At that point, uh, they would have an excused absence but only if they provided that. If it was a person that could work from home, they'd be allowed to work from home with those same conditions. They would have to have proof that they had the virus. Okay? And the other provision is if a person did not have the days off to get paid, they would be able to borrow against future uh, vacation and uh, personal days. Up to 10 days. That was it in a nutshell. And this is my only question I have on that one. I, like I said, they and I talked about it. Is, for example, we have an office shut down, and they're not. There's people over there that got sent home that aren't sick. Uh, that Do they use their sick days? Yes. How fair is that? I don't know, but that's we're, we're not allowing any extra pay for anybody because this but is. But how do you send a person home that's not sick? No, 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 wait a minute. I think you're okay. Yeah, I, I understand no that, but if you why do you send a person home that's not sick and then they have to use sick days? I, I, well, that I can't. I, it's not going to happen here. But if I don't know if it's in other departments, it'd be up to those uh, elected officials that do it. So the girls that got sent home at from Bess's office will be paid. Home. Well, Bess has. This is what Bess did in the past. She has the option to send work home with them. And, and I'm fine with that if they're getting paid. Yeah. You know, then they're working from home. Mm -hmm. If that's legal, and that's I just don't want them to get sent home. Because they weren't sick. So well, our is. policy doesn't really cover the clerk's office. She insists she has her own policy. Well, but I, I want our policy to look here, better. In here, it doesn't really, it doesn't, we don't talk about that, do we? No, we don't. So, what we're saying is, is if any of our departments that we've got control over, it would be a, like, it would be there's like, an outbreak and we send them home. Well, it'd be like a job, like you and I are at the mines, if your uh, mines, uh, for whatever reason, Send people off there's a few days they didn't work. It's the same situation. The work wasn't available to them. However, I don't think that happened by the way. Yeah, but I, 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 do, I do kind of have a problem with that, though. That's the only thing. I don't want them to use their sick days if they're not. If they were, let's just say they, they got the shot and somebody else chose not to, and I, I think it ought to be your discretion if you want to get it or not. But somebody comes in, they bring the virus, people get sick. It's almost like we're penalizing somebody for that are, that's healthy. If, if, if someone's not sick and doesn't have the virus, then we want to make sure they don't go home and do have well, use of vacation time. With their, that's not going to happen. Okay. No, it, it's okay how it's addressed because anything that I'm uh, over, they won't get sent home just because someone else in the department has. And if they do, then we're going to, we're going to, we're going to work from home with, with, 
Yes. I'll vote for this as long as a healthy person that gets sent home because somebody else is sick doesn't get penalized. That's all I, you know, that's what I, because if they were responsible and did what they need to do and were healthy, they should be told. I mean, I can see where that would be trouble. Is that not just? Well, I mean, you're only, you're only think if they're not working. They get sent home because of the COVID issue and they're not working. I don't know if we can, we can pay them for not working. Well, no, we're but if, we're, if they're working from home, certainly, uh, yeah, within the, discretion working. the department, if that's what they But I think what we need to do is stress that no, we, can, we can certainly not cut their vacation days or sick days. I, don't, I just think, if, yes, you send a healthy person home because but somebody else is sick. we're going to run into that in New York. We're, we're not. Well, I don't think the road department or, yeah. Well, no, and the, the jail or the sheriff. We're spread out up here. Well, I, you know, I have an issue with we put our people on the front lines, <coughs> and it may not be their choice to contract this virus. So why am I penalizing my people to sit home and be sick because they're working for the county? Something we put them out there to do. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Well, we're not. We're saying that they would be. Ex it well, if, if they're having to use their personal yeah. time. I don't think that's fair. I think we should pay them. If we're putting them out there to do a job for the county, just say like, for instance, Bess's office. They're, they're collecting taxes for us. They can't help it if someone comes in with the virus and they contract that virus. I hate to send somebody home that works for me that has been enforcing the law and has to be out and interact with people and then they contract the virus and then I send them home with that and they have to use their own time. I, I can't I just, I don't, I don't want to do that. I think we should pay them if, if they're doing a job for us and they get sick doing that job, we should pay them for being sick. Well, I mean, well, that's, that's why we have 12, you know, <laughs> we have 12 days like that a year for anything, you know. But, but that, that's, and then another 10 vacation. Yeah, I, I mean, it causes all kinds of issues. Because, I mean, if the, if the auditors will allow us, then certainly it's within the court's discretion. Well, that's definitely the issue. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's if, if the auditors will allow us. So that's sort of where we came into the borrowed time because some people, if they didn't have the time yeah. and then they got, got it, then they would at least have that. But anybody that could work from home and they were proven that they had it, or the, that's a, that's a good question, that they could, the possible ability of working from home, they did. Okay, do, uh, do I have a motion on, on this from somebody from the committee that reviewed it? It was presented to me yesterday morning by Ann and Kenny and, and uh, Cassidy, and I like what they told me. We better ask that question. Yeah, go ahead and ask that question. What Tracy's talking about, if they're out there working at their job and they contract the virus from you know, maybe a, a person that they have to put in the car turns out that they had the virus. Is, is workman's comp do anything about that? Because, I mean, technically... No, they weren't injured at work. Well, but they can't work because of what they sustained from work. I've had not that same, but I think, Tracy, you had a case where a guy thought he was having a heart attack. You know, your thought is... or maybe, No, that was before the other sheriff thought it was due to the stress, but it wasn't claimable. I just was wondering, though, because, I mean, yeah. you know, if you come to work and you got injured by that campaign, I think and you'd be off for a few days, working comp would step in, but if yeah. you got contracted with a virus criminal, yeah. and you can't work. Well, I, and I would, I think that would be great. I, I almost wish the federal government would mandate us to do that. They did when COVID began. They have not done that as yet. Right. But what you, and I have been told this by the auditors, what they're going to say is there's 26,000 other citizens. Are you going to pay them with your taxpayer money when they can't go to work? That's how, that's their thought process in it. And I, I would hope, I almost think I would hope that you see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I mean, and I can almost understand that. If they, that what we're doing is we're sending home healthy people. Yeah. I think that well, to solve not. this problem, and we won't. that there is always something that you can send home with that employee to work on. 
whether it be a equipment manual, uh, tra safety trainings. Uh, Return calls. Yeah, there's always something you could send home with that employee to justify. Do you feel like this will change with the numbers going up again? Well, I, I mean, I don't know, but I wouldn't be surprised if the federal government didn't mandate that again. I mean, I don't, I can't answer for the federal government, but and this is only, I wish I could sometimes. <laughs> this is only through the end of October, correct? Yeah, then it'll be readdressed re then. So we're actually only approving through the end of October. And if the federal government did uh, mandate that, then that would we would have to do that. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay. What are other? Can I just one more question? What are what are other counties doing? Have you? I actually had my Zoom meeting with the other county treasurers. There's about 30, 35 of us that meet every other week, and I'll ask that question. Uh, I've not, and usually I'm the one they call because I'm old. <laughs> but I haven't heard anybody. Can you be sent home for being old? That's what I was supposed to say. Though. Someday I will be. <laughs> They'll ask her. Yeah. <laughs> They'll ask her what to do. Now, the other thing is, is if, if we're borrowing 10 days, and you know that. And then someone is, up and leaves us. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you pay five. Guys, that is specifically prohibited by the auditors. But. You know, the judge and I talked, and I'm comfortable in this situation arguing the point. You know, we've got a good employee. Most people live check to check. They simply could not go two weeks without a paycheck. Right. Yeah. And, and that's kind of what I'm going to point out here. Yeah. So if, yeah. and we very well may get dinged on that, but yeah. uh, I just think I could argue with them yeah. about was, that. It's extraordinary. You know, we have high turnover in certain areas, and I was afraid that. No, we are not addressing this and we don't intend to. On, on the first go around, people were saying, hey, uh, my second cousin has COVID, I'm quarantined for two weeks. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Right. Say, say in contact with us, have no proof, and they, we was giving them those days, and hey, that's where, hey, I get this morning, do I want to go to work or do I want to stay home? This is actually a positive case. It doesn't do it. Yeah, contact. this is yes. positive. Yeah, which is a good thing. Yeah, but I'm in favor with them. I'm listening for a motion from one of you guys that's on the committee. I'm going to make a motion that we accept the coronavirus response with the idea that anybody that is sick gets to take work home so they can get paid. Is that, is that all right? I did it like that, Justin. Say it again one more time. Pray for that. That is, was, that is actually in there. That's that written in there. there. That yeah, in. Then I'll make a motion to accept the as as coronavirus the response that anybody that is healthy and gets sent home is allowed to take work so they can work from home. I'll see. So, motion by Sam Small, second by Larry Count. Second, second for discussion. We got a second for discussion. So the only people you get to take work home with them are those that are healthy. Either, either sent no. Either, either or, or if sick. so like if the sheriff has somebody out and they get sent home because they have a positive test, they yeah, still I think, it, I think it's got to be both, you know. Yeah, it's got to be, yeah, I don't want it to be either or. And I think, it, you know, if you're healthy, we're going to try to the limit the, that we send you back home. That's right. So, so, let, an so let me uh, reword this. I make a motion to accept the coronavirus response. As long as you get sent home, you get to take work home and work. But are you going by the COVID protocol that, that that's in front of us here? Right. Is there any amendments from that? And since could you, could I, I you think simply was, state the motion? I that, think it's clarifying. That's all he's doing. Okay. Okay. I mean, I since we're so seven, number three, number uh, doc, no, number three, your paragraph number three, address what we're. But it says if employee tests positive for COVID-19 and their position allows the employee to work from home, the employee must request from their direct supervisor or elected official to work from home. And it doesn't say if it, it says an employee tests positive. Yeah, otherwise we're not sending them home. Yeah, the only other thing I would wish it would say in there, or if a healthy employee has to get sent home. 
And you could add that oh, amendment yeah. to the COVID protocol as written here, mm -hmm. and the motion be that you accept the COVID protocol, which is identified as effective 20, July 26, 2021, with the amendment of such and such mm -hmm. as written. Why would you send a healthy individual home? If they shut down, the like the office got shut down, it's Bess's office. Yeah. If, they shut, if they shut down a, a, a department, yeah, we probably will do that, but just in case, I want it to be in case, you know, there's a lot of what ifs, you know, or we won't, you know. We can always revisit. Yeah, I yeah. think uh, I think we have a motion second in doing that with your clarification. With that, with that amendment in it. I, I make the motion, uh, what Justin just said, and uh, I'll second. And, okay, have motion second. It's, you it's got pretty it much covered. In you already had a motion and a second. So. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's say I'm withdraw his motion, I'll withdraw my second, and then you can go make the other motion. I withdraw my, mo my original motion. Jeez. I withdraw my second, then you can make your other motion. Now he makes a new motion. Now I make the new motion. motion. Uh, as Justin has explained, with the amendment, but with the, with the amendment, amendment right. paragraph thirty. And I'll second. Now, now then, this time Joe Barnes second. Is there any further discussion? He's already explained that. Being none, I'm favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. You know aye. what I hate about this is because you know flu. Some people try to come to work when they're sick, and this they won't let you. But some people don't feel good if they get up and they come to work anyway. You know, that's why we're so generous with their sick days we get a man. Um, this is, uh, okay, committee report and Joe, I want, uh, uh, I want you to give the committee report on these assessments. Well, I've got something. <laughs> The coroner was Elvis, not going to the same thing. No, that's an old. Just okay. take the agenda that was in your Manila envelope is the okay. newest one. Uh, I, believe, I, believe, I believe the coroner made the okay. presentation and needs assessed. Okay. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I picked up the wrong one. I didn't Nothing, don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Hey, Jamie nodded yes. Okay. So uh, I'm assuming she's speaking for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. You're, uh, you're up with the needs assessment. The needs committee. assessment committee met and has hashed through all of our, you know, uh, needs. requests and what we're going to be able to fund this year. And we've all settled on a needs assessment list that has been updated that we're going to fund all these projects. I'm not going to read them all because I'm not here. I guess somebody can request a list that they, they want. They can request a list. That would, okay. So we can do that. Yes. So I'm making a motion that we'll present this list on the needs assessments. Do I have a second? Second. Have a motion and a second. Um, this is a great big deal again, so let's do a roll call. <coughs> Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cow? Yes. Small? Yes. Okay. Uh, if there are other committee reports, I do. I want to speak on a committee report real quick, and then I've got to leave uh, because we have something scheduled. Your mental health suicide awareness committee. Yes. They are meeting. Uh, we have a guest speaker coming to the high school tonight. If you're hearing this in 22 minutes, we're going to be at the high school at six o'clock. There is a guest speaker coming to speak on you know, signs, ways to help you get through. If you have somebody in your family you're trying to assist. Uh, this lady, she's trained, she will be there to, to speak to people. Um, and like I said, I know sometimes it's a tough subject, but it's one that needs to be addressed. If so, uh, if you feel like that you need some help, it's at the high school at night at 6 o'clock. Um, do you have, do we have, do I miss an out at 6 o'clock at the high school? Uh, it's, I was going to tell you, it's free, it's for anybody in the community. Uh, as far as age appropriate, you could bring middle school to high school students. I don't know that grade school would be age appropriate, but you are, you know, middle school, high school students, and anybody in the public is welcome to come tonight. It's at 6 o'clock, and it is um, a lady speaking about suicide awareness and signs and ways to help you through situations. And I know it's probably affected everybody somewhere or the other in your families. So uh, 
You don't have anything to do, we'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock at the hospital. Sounds great. And I'm going to go help out the yeah, Is this a report, but I'm going to charge a committee here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> folks. That means I'm asking you to meet. That's a fancy word, same way of saying that. I charge the uh, equipment evaluation committee to assess all the road department equipment and the needs within the next two meetings. Uh, the next meeting will meet at 4 o'clock again, sort of like needs assessment, but we'll be talking about ARPA. Uh, and uh, I know that would be too soon for you to get that together, Joe, but maybe by the last meeting in August, you could have that recommendation together. Uh, and by the way, our ARPA meeting, too, the, we meet next Tuesday at uh, 2.30. That's your committee meeting, yes. So anybody who's in the public who wants to come and see how the ARPA funds are being talked about, how to be spent, uh, it's 2.30 next Tuesday here in the old uh, this courtroom. And these are the qualified ones we talked about, gentlemen, not the, not the president, lost revenue. Uh, okay. uh, thank you. Oh, if there's no other committee reports, uh, anybody else got a committee report? Being I'm going to give you a really, I'm going to be really quick on the COVID-19 update. As you know, we are having a surge in cases lately. Our county's up a lot. Um, the, uh, uh, the Delta, it is a Delta variant. Uh, I talked to Clay Horton Friday in length about this, and uh, uh, I talked to Clay Horton in length about the uh, variant and the vaccinations. We're still preaching that in the biggest way. It's almost if you if uh, if you get it, it's a it's almost our own fault if we don't get our vaccinations and we get the disease, the the virus. Uh, we found out that 91% of all new cases, even though we know some of the 9%, but 91% of all new cases are unvaccinated people. So the vaccinations we've been getting, the Moderna and the Pfizer and the Johnson & Johnson, and, uh, they're 91% they're effective against that Delta variant. So, uh, and also, one other discussion I had with Clay, uh, and, and uh, in case you haven't guessed it, I'm suggesting and everyone get there for vaccination. Uh, the uh, things I get, even from uh, distant family or uh, family members and coworkers and everyone else, they hear nightmare stories about the the vaccination. That comes from complaints that's filed with the CDC. But every one of those claims that involve the death from the, vi from the vaccination is proven to be false. Every one, once it's, it's uh, investigated, is untrue. No one has died from getting the vaccination or had any other serious side effects other than uh, the symptoms we hear about, the, the, the mild and temporary ones. Uh, so I'm at this point urging all to do it. I do believe that this uh, uptick we're having is very short-lived. The reason for that is I believe many will get their vaccinations. They are setting up at the back-to-school activities. By they, I mean our uh, uh, Ohio County Health Care is doing it as long as with our drugstore partners that's in with us on the on the team to get the vaccinations out there and i believe that's going to increase the number of people with vaccinations going to increase plus we found out everybody that's had the virus has some immunity uh the percentage percentage tags not put on that yet but they have immunity too by having had the virus so with more of the people that's had the virus and the ones getting the vaccinations, I'm very optimistic that this is uh, going to be very shortly lived in this uh, uh, increase in new cases that we're having. Uh, so with that, I'm just leaving you with that. I highly recommend everybody get your vaccination.
Now I think we're ready for the magistrate's comments and requests. We'll start with District 1, Sassamo. Uh, yeah, I have a couple little things. Uh, okay. One with our COVID out there, and, and I have not heard anything about it, but uh, with the heat being what it's been, uh, we need to check on our neighbors, the elderly and the misfortunate. Uh, anybody that you think uh, might be suffering from the heat, uh, if they need a fan, uh, if you get a hold of me, we'll do something, whatever I can do, and, and we'll try to make that uh, a priority. But we need to watch out for our our fellow citizens and uh, and also our animals. You know, we need to pay special attention to their water uh, through these hot days and make sure they have shade. But uh, please check on your neighbors and. Uh, if you believe they, they need help, then, then let somebody know. And that's all I have to do. Thank you, Sam, and that's very appropriate. Appreciate that. Joe? Uh, just to kind of reiterate, we talked about this a while back. We've been we've been doing spraying on our roads to, to cut yes. back on our mowing. Uh, I know there's a few people that doesn't like it as well, but it, it seems to be pretty effective on keeping the visit, visit uh, being able to see on the curves and everything on the road. Uh, we've, I've actually had less calls with the spray than I, than I had the mowing. And we've, a lot of times we've already started the second round. But we have talked about we're going to try to get our, you know, our goal was to get one mowing in when it got yeah. hot, dry, yeah. and knock everything down going into the fall. Yeah. So I think we're going to be trying to start that soon, aren't we? Yes, sir. Well, I was just kind of curious if y'all was getting any calls on that. I haven't. In the 1st District, I've requested that no spraying be done unless it's Johnson grass. Or right. Or blinds up. That's the only place I want sprayed in the 1st District. Uh, but I have not had any calls. Uh, you know, where it has been sprayed, it's effective. Yeah. I think so. uh, to no fault of anyone else's, it's just Mother Nature. Uh, it's a lot of rain on the system. Spring, but yeah, if that Johnson grass had been sprayed three weeks earlier, it would have made a difference. But I've been out on several roads, it's killed the Johnson grass. So. It, it has now, uh, we're trying to refine it a little bit because uh, it seems like it's killed some of the fescue too. We, we actually, the stuff that was supposed to target the Johnson grass wasn't supposed to kill the regular grass as much as it has. Some places it has burned it more. Could have been that it was a drier time when it got sprayed, but uh, we are going to be trying to refine that a little bit better. But at the same time, our goal is to still do one mowing through and knock all the, the taller weeds that had got jumped ahead, like you said, it got. It's made a substantial difference. Actually. But you can kind of see on this side of the ditch bank and the road bank, you can see and got good visualization, but on the other side of the bank, where it's you know, maybe along by a field or something, the Johnson grass and all the horse weeds are really thick and you can't see it all. So it seems like it, it is being effective. And it has saved us a lot of time because We've been able to work on these other big projects. I think they've completed some of the bridge right. project. It was a major bridge project, and then this big deal up there on the uh, Rough River, where the road caved into the river. Yeah, fixing that. Yeah. And, and and had it been we trying to mow and, and, and as many people who take mowing, we wouldn't be able to tackle those projects. We would have had to contract them out, and we would have probably been out. I'd say four times the amount. Yeah, if you for a contractor. If you put a pencil to it, uh, it's a substantial savings. Yeah. Sure is. But that's all I just kind of wanted to reiterate that we are going to be mowing. Larry? Uh, judge, will you bring us up to date on the jail study of what fellow judges and what for? Uh, I think it's in the, I believe, Charlie's not here. I had him make the calls. They actually uh, emailed me today and asked a couple of other questions. Okay, uh, but Did the I guy is the working on it. Yes. And it's been the, has yes. he been paid and all that? So we're good to go then and work on. Okay, good deal. Yes, and uh, and uh, I will uh, follow back up on that again before this week is out. Um, so has anybody uh, in from the public got anything for the good of this body? Uh, I appreciate everybody coming. Hopefully, uh, more will as time goes on. We love the have a uh, full auditorium for our, our meetings. Uh, but uh, at the same time, we're really proud that things are going smoothly. And when they're not, it seems to be when we get the 
the good uh, of him. So anyway, uh, if uh, no one else has anything else, call this meeting adjourned as soon as I say, uh, don't forget four o'clock at the next, uh, the next uh, scheduled meeting, be here and we're gonna discuss uh, ARPA, uh, lost revenue. Uh, <laughs>